back to the Daddy Art Studio. It is May, which means Pride Month is just around the corner. I know a lot of us are super bummed that we're not able to celebrate Pride the way we normally would, you know, parades or in-person celebrations. But you know what? There's so many other ways for us to show our pride, like by finding that art that represents you. Throughout this video, I'm going to talk about my Pride collection. I've got a special offer and request yeah! for you towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I've got Champagne Toast manning the phones with your questions, so let's get started. Womaning the phones. And I have a question. What the f is this technology we're using? How am I supposed to take a selfie with this? Budget cuts, Miss Toast. You know, life is like a garden. If you ever want blooms again, you gotta hold the field and plant the seeds. Hello, landscaper. Yes, we have an emergency. We need you here right away. Yes, it's on a face. Oh, you'll recognize it when you see him. Okay, so while we wait for those questions to come in, let's just start here. So I've always wanted to create a pride collection. Back to high school days, I would start a painting that was gay related and then paint over it, mostly because I was closeted. There's a lot of things going on when you're a teenager. But eventually I started throwing in some elements depicting LGBTQ culture into my paintings, like a rainbow or body positivity. And a couple years ago, I realized I had enough of this artwork to create a little bit of a collection, even if it was subtle. And then I expanded on it a lot. And now it is my most popular and most prolific collection. I have a question through Insta. How are you checking Insta? Good question. So I'm having summer intern Grayson check the apps and email on his real phone. He then calls me on this ice age thing and I get the questions to you. Because according to this technology and SBP's mustache, it's 1975. Uh. So anyways, what's the question, Grayson? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So some lady wants to know, since you paint so many people in your Pride series, are the people real or fictional? Both. So in most situations, I'm going for a mood or representation of a certain kind of person or relationship. So it's sometimes, but not always, necessary for me to go off of an actual person. My painting, Common Threads, The Birth of Pride, for example, contains both real people and folks I created in the same painting. This piece is a history of pride between the Stonewall Riots in 1969 and the 50th anniversary of the riots in 2019. The six people in this piece, based on real life, include Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, Harvey Milk, Freddie Mercury, Essex Hempel, and Edie Windsor. Other real people are represented in the AIDS Memorial Quilt. These are names of friends of my friends lost to the disease. The Youth in the Shadows, Leathermen, Dancers, Drag Queen and Audience, P Flag Mom, and the couple representing the end of Don't Ask, Don't Tell were all created to depict certain types of people. There's so much going on in this particular piece. If you want to know more about it, I have a whole write-up I can send you. I have a question about custom pride pieces. Can we do that one? Great timing. So Una Brazo was part of my Embrace sub-series of Pride Art, and while it was created out of my imagination, it did inspire this custom piece that I just finished. This fabulous couple was looking to celebrate their two-year anniversary in part by being immortalized in a work of art. What better way, right? Aww. So they love Una Brazo. They love the background. They love the style of the people. They just wanted their own likenesses and with their shirts on. So I made that happen. I have to say, I do so much custom art, but doing a piece like this, seeing this happy couple smile at each other day after day, really brightened up the mood in my studio. Adorable! Now, we have a question from someone with an AOL email. Should we take it? Ms. Toast, you're talking on a rotary phone. Not by choice, SB. You know what? I'm on break. Here. I'll put Grayson on speakerphone. Okay, so their question is, in some of your paintings of people, they are nude or partially nude. Has this been an issue for you? 
and it's typed in all caps. Okay, so the best example I have of this is last summer when a couple girls come into my booth, they had to be about 12 years old, and girl A goes to girl B, there's a naked woman in that booth. Girl B goes, have you ever been to the Art Institute? They got way worse stuff there. Everybody's naked. Girl A goes, oh, you know, you're right. Side note, if you ever need to know what's up, ask a middle schooler. I think the human body is beautiful and as an artist and as a person, I believe strongly in body positivity. Whether I use models or whether I create portraits from imagination, all of the portraits in my pride collection are meant to exude emotion while representing LGBTQ folks in art in ways not often seen. I think most people see that, and even if it isn't their cup of tea, they might find it inspirational for a custom piece because of the design or simply turn their attention to a different piece of my work. Okay, man, the next question. Are your bisexual pieces respected and selling well? That's an interesting question. I think the representations of the bi community are viewed similarly to those of other identities in my work. I more often see people gravitate towards the pieces that speak to them and discuss the positive depictions they see for their own representation rather than to put down depictions of different identities. The bi flag is also a great color scheme. The pinks, purples, and blues are fabulous regardless of what the colors mean to you. You don't need to identify a certain way in order to I hate to cut that. you off, man, but I'm like in the Burger Queen drive through and the person who lives in the window really wants to know how you handle people saying stupid shit about your art. Oh, it's nightmares. Oh, I might have nightmares with this painting. Oh, why would you ever paint such a thing? No, you can't have that beautiful painting, children. Nightmares. Oh. So if it's someone with an uninformed statement, I usually try and educate those people. But if it's someone who just has a negative opinion about my work, I move on to someone who's actually interested in my art. And maybe I use their comment as a punchline for a joke in a YouTube video. And you know, being an artist is like planting a garden. You plant the seeds, you let it grow. Some people will find beauty in its entirety. Some people will love certain blooms and other people are just allergic. All right, that's it. No more questions. Let's talk about jewelry, shall we? Aside from the paintings in the Pride section of my website, I also have several Pride-specific pieces in my gift shop. Let's check it out. I'll paint any custom word that will fit. These can be painted in custom colors. Next. Each one comes with a matching hand-painted gift box. Okay, Miss Toast, which would you like to try on for our viewers? None of those. I want the big one. An excellent choice. Look how fabulous. You know, I am so excited that I brought the phone that SPP so generously let me use so I can take a selfie. I'd like to try one on, if I may. Sure, SPP. How do you identify? Which would you like to wear? Well, I'm sort of questioning. Questioning that mustache, I hope. Miss Toast, you're over hours. Time to clock out. <gasps> fine. This is fine. I have a date with Grayson anyways, so I'm going to go get ready for that. Grayson isn't he your intern? You know, he seems to think he is. But quite honestly, I'm not even sure if he's in school. Meh. Toodles. Might I suggest the rainbow pendant for you? Yep, sounds good. Necklace me. Hey man, so like, can I try one on? Hey, we were just talking about you. Sure thing, which would you like? So life is like a garden and I like all varieties of plants. Sweet man, love it. I'm gonna go find myself a mirror. Word in the woods is you're looking for some necklace models. 
Hey, LP, sure thing, take your pick. I like this. All right, bye, bye, bye. So I can go on and on about my Pride series, but I want to get to my special offer for you. So I know so many of you are doing such great work for the LGBTQ community in community centers, on the front lines of the medical field, for nonprofits, and I want to hear your stories. So send me your stories or the stories of someone that applies to that you want to celebrate because I'm going to be airing this in my Pride celebration video in June, and I want to give you all some credit. So send me your stories. I will send you a 25% off coupon. Good for anything on my website, whether I use your story or not. And the coupon is also good for any custom art, um, just for being your awesome self. Let me know which character you would like to share your story. I love you all. Thank you so much for continuing to inspire my pride art and my artwork in general. I will see you next month at the Pride Celebration. Well, you know, Grayson, life is like a garden, and I'm the most beautiful thing in it. Nighty night. Ooh, what's this? Miss Toes. Ooh, what cute little owls. Miss Toes, thank you so much for your help today. Feel free to take a gift item of your choice from the gift shop on your way home. Hmm, what else do I want? Ooh. Now I have to see if this fits into my car.